In this video for section B1, we're going to talk about summation notation. So we have some examples of summation notation here. And our first question is asking us to explain what is happening in these examples. So as you look at the examples, you see that they both have this um, funny looking E. This is actually the Greek letter sigma, capital sigma. Sigma stands for um, sum, it's like an S. And we see that we have k equals a number at the bottom of the sigma, and then we have another number at the top of the sigma. And then we have this k squared. And so as you look at this, you can kind of make sense of what's happening here. What we are doing is we are starting with the bottom number, 3 in this case, and 0 in this case. And we are plugging it into the formula. So here I have 3 squared because my formula is k squared. This one is 4 times k plus 1, so 4 times 0 plus 1. And you can see that we are plugging in the bottom number, then we are plugging in each whole number until we reach the top number. So this first one goes 3, 4, 5, 6, and the second one here is 0, 1, and 2. And then finally, once we do that, we are finding our results, and then we are adding them all together to get a single number for our answer. So here we have 4 times 0 plus 1 is 1, 4 times 1 plus 1 is 5, 4 times 2 plus 1 is 9, and then I add 1 plus 5 plus 9 to get 15. So let's write this out. So what is happening is that we start with the number at the bottom of the sigma symbol. and end with the number at the top. And then we are plugging in every whole number between those two numbers, including them. So we start with 3, we end with 6, 3 and 6 are included. Then we add all of the results. So now we're going to do some examples. So this first one is going from 1 to 6, and it's just k. So we're plugging in 1 through 6. So 1, we get 1. 2, we get 2. 3, we get 3. So there's nothing to do with k here. Um, it's not squared or multiplied by anything. It's just k. Then we stop after we do 6. And then we add those numbers together, and we get 21. So that's my answer. Now for number 3, we're squaring k. So this is going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. And so we're plugging in every number from 1 to 5. Then when we square those, we get 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. And then finally, add all those together, and you should get 55. So 55 is going to be my answer. 